being in a match like this tonight, at a high level match? Tensions were high, like we came back and we just had to grovel and just play the game that we played and do the best we could do. The first game was kind of slacked off, we didn't know what to do. And then we just came back in that second game and showed them that we weren't going to go down like easy, so it was fun. What do you think is the key of winning a, a, a match like this? Communication, definitely. It's the biggest thing. We kind of got into some arguments, but we came back and we stayed as a team and just played through it. Defense. Scary moment there with the ankle. Did it just buckle on you? Or? Uh, I, I rolled over the toes and it just hurt so bad. And it hurt really. Like I couldn't even handle <laughs> it. And yeah, so I, I just got more tape on it and I just had to come through it. But, but there was nothing that was going to keep you from coming back in this definitely match. Definitely not. So. Not any other match I would have stopped, but this one I couldn't. Talk. Carl Mendoza's play tonight I thought was really yeah. critical. I mean, his passing oh, yeah. and his defense. Yeah. I mean, that I was. I mean, he is, he, he, yeah. his play is just contagious for us throughout the, the match. I mean, that guy, I hate to say it, but uh, he deserves, I don't know if you could say a Purple Heart, but he deserves something, some kind of award for his, his you know, I don't know, what, he, what, what can I say, is basically his desire to, to fight for his team and let them know that I'm not going down without a fight. And, you know, he showed how much he cares about this team. And, and Carl just continues to just makes tremendous plays and he just gets better and better. I mean, he is the glue of our team and it was pretty inspiring. I think, you know, pretty inspiring for our teammates and the way he kind of dealt with the injury and just fought through it. Yeah. So we yeah. want him rested. I told him, hey, it's just one game. And he said, hey, coach, I'm going in. You know, I want this, this, uh, I want to win this real bad. So, you know, it's just, Carl is, played tremendous. Tonight, it looked like they were taking away your fingers, but some other guys seemed to come through for you. You said Joe Rafferty coming through, and you have Deckinson coming through. What can you say about those guys? Yeah, they, they played their match, and that was their time to shine, and I'm glad it was versus the Crosstown Bible. So they came through, they helped me out as much as they could when I came back in and I was hurting, but they got it. So. These kids uh, fought really hard. You got to give DP a lot of credit. You know, Chris Hughes had these te this team prepared, they were ready. I think they were pretty pumped up that we were able to beat San Marcos on Tuesday, and they knew that, hey, uh, we could beat Santa Barbara, and they definitely showed that throughout the, the match. And uh, uh, it was definitely a, a team win for us. I mean, our kids uh, didn't get down. Well, obviously, we had a kind of an emotional game, but probably one of the highest level of volleyball games that I've seen this year so far for a high school channel league. So Hart did a great job of setting, running our offense. Um, we had some, you know, some bad plays here and there, but we found a way to kind of, you know, I guess uh, great teams find a way to, have, to to win, you know, so even when we're not playing well, we just got to learn how to dig down and, and get dirty and, and uh, be a little physical, and uh, I thought our boys definitely showed a lot of heart, a lot of character. Okay, freebie, freebie, baby. Here we go. Where's that car from the barrel? Kristen and Shannon usually are your leaders, but you yeah. got guys like Deckinson tonight. Yeah, it was Quinn in the middle. Quinn was huge for us. We offensively in the middle, we weren't connecting too well in the middles, and Quinn really came through for us in that game five and game four. It was, you know, it's the way he was able to kind of squeak those shots uh, against their big middles. They're blocking us. They're frustrating, and uh, it sh shows uh, a lot of, you know. And smart decisions by heart, by trusting his teammates and still, you know, letting them know that, hey, we need you and we rely on you, and they really came through for us. So, I mean, mm -hmm. that was that was huge for us. And then again, like you say, trusting, you talk about Ryan Worley, you got yeah. a little bit of an off oh, night, yeah, yeah. he you struggled, know, but then here in the fifth game, yeah, he gets a couple of yeah, big kills for you. Yeah, he makes a couple of good kills, and I told him in, in, the, in the green room, I said, you know what, I'm really proud of you. It just kind of speaks volumes about his character, the way that he fights, and, and uh, you know, 
that huge swing at 13, uh, was it 13, 12? And you know, he could have tipped or whatever. He, sw he swung, was aggressive, high off the hands, and that was huge for us. I mean, that was kind of a turning point, a little momentum swing back in our favor. And you know, he definitely came through when we needed, needed him.